All right, I am Blake Lisby, and this is my project for the Control of Dynamic Systems Lab. So my particular project is a lockable safe, which will remain locked until the user has both entered in the correct code on the keypad, and they have also entered into the appropriate proximity of the ultrasonic sensor. So this project is utilizing an original code, which is being run on Arduino. This has already been preloaded onto the Arduino Uno board, so this project in particular uses, utilizes five components, which consists of two inputs and three outputs. The first input of which is the ultrasonic sensor. This will recognize once a user has entered into approximately 75 centimeters of the safe. Then the second input is the membrane switch. This will allow the user to enter in a four digit code it can be noted that the correct code for this project is 7123. So then that brings us to our outputs. The first of which is the four digit seven segment display. You can see that all E's are being shown right now. That is simply to serve as a prompt to tell the user that a code can be entered. And it can also be noted that the in real time as the user enters in a digit, that digit will also be displayed on the screen to let them know what they have entered. So then that brings us to the next input, input output, which is a red LED. This will serve to let the user know that they have either entered in the wrong code or they have been outside the proximity of the sensor. And then finally, we have our final output, which is a micro servo motor, which is inside the safe simply to keep the safe door locked. And it can be noted that right now the safe is locked and I cannot open it. So this safe can essentially encounter three scenarios. You can either enter in the correct code and be outside the proximity of the sensor, so the safe will not unlock. You can be in proximity of the sensor, but then enter in the wrong code and the safe will still remain locked. Or finally, the most preferable outcome, you're in proximity of the sensor and you also enter in the correct code, which will then allow the safe to unlock. So we can now run through those three scenarios. So first we will enter in a wrong code and you can see in real time as the code is displayed. So we can enter in six, nine, eight, seven. So the red LED was triggered telling us that we entered in the wrong code. So once we give it a few seconds, the screen will reset and we can now enter in another code. So now we will enter in the correct code, but we will be outside the proximity of the sensor. So now we will enter in seven, one, two, three. And again, the light came on. That's because we were not in proximity of the sensor. So then finally it resets. And now if everything goes to plan, we can enter in seven, one, two, three. And now our safe is unlocked. And if we wish to relock the safe, all we have to do is step outside the view of the sensor, and now the safe is relocked and secured. Thank you.